What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Carpet One. We're gonna try and find some hardwood flooring or something similar to that, maybe like some Pergo to put into our trunks. Today they are open. Um, originally I wanted to do like a suede, but if I find something cool here, then I'll go for it. Okay. So um, what is it called? Words, you lay them down and you click them together. Okay. Just kind of like with the Pergo. Found this stuff right here, which is like Pergo. It all links together, but it's 108 bucks for 27, 27. square feet. That's, too so that's a little too much. Um, we don't need that much, so we're gonna try and see if he can maybe cut it in half. Just on a plywood. He said we decided what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of plywood on the bottom, and then we're gonna glue this flooring vinyl so it's like okay. kind of like flimsy type of stuff so it'll be a lot easier to work with you can make three out of this too. yeah so we might even just give the rest to Diego because he wanted to do it too or we can get some of this stuff some fake grass back there <laughs> put a little soccer field in our trunk <laughs> <laughs> huge thank you to carpet one these guys were dope as hell really helpful when it came to this and we got what we needed check this out we got the vinyl and fabric Dupli color. So this is the stuff we're gonna use on the trim around the trunk. We'll show you guys once we get there. If you guys remember the day we went to get uh, Ongo's setup, like his subwoofer and all that, we also went to drop off Marco's car at the tire shop, and he asked the guy at the tire shop, "Do you guys sell tires?" <laughs> so, so now everywhere we go that sells something specifically, we're gonna make it a tradition to ask that. So we're at Meeks. And they sell lumber, so of course we gotta ask, do you guys sell wood? Guys, this is not the smartest thing we've done, but it works. Hey, if Eliminate can put a 50 inch in Last their team. Subaru, <laughs> we can do this too. <laughs> For those asking about how you take these off, that's it. That's it. I know guys, we're probably gonna get a lot of crap for this, but we don't own a truck. So you gotta improvise. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna make sure it's nice and tight, that way it doesn't fly off and hit someone in the middle of the highway. You gotta show them how sturdy it is. It's flimsy, but it ain't going anywhere. It ain't gonna go back yet. It'll hold. We're good. <laughs> They're like, look at these retards. back home safe and sound so we got the plywood ready to go what we're gonna do is grab a sharpie and we're gonna outline the carpet and then start cutting BAM there's my outline came out pretty well that carpet is trash that thing is like old and grimy and oil. I don't even know how you have oil stains someone probably used that to do like oil changes or something which I might actually keep that for. Nestor is over here doing his outline. He's just about done with his. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, this is gonna turn out super cool. Under that piece of wood right there is my spare tire. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that out considering I don't have blowouts. <laughs> we have everything lined up now, ready to go. It's time to start cutting. Good for your straight cut. Yeah, it's, I think that is what cut it's for. That's for the straight ones. So check it out, guys. I got mine all cut out. It's a little rough around the edges, but I think we're gonna. Do you have a sander, you said? Yeah, I brought a sander. We just need some paper. Okay, cool. It has one on it.
So this is how mine is looking at the moment. Um, it's not completely in yet, it's lifted actually right here, so it looks like we might have to cut this small edge right here, just for the rest of it to go in and fit in there. I'll put that fitting right there. Guys, we just test fitted mine, and it went in right in, it fit perfectly. Now Diego is just sanding off the edges, getting all these like wood chips off of there. Well, now that we got everything all cut out, I got my piece of wood down there, and now I just cut the vinyl flooring. So this is all ready to go. Only thing now is to put the glue on the bottom side of that wood, lay this over, make sure all the edges are nice, and then just let it sit and dry. <laughs> Dude, I was putting it on with this thing right here. Nestor kind of knew I was using too much. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wait, wait, Do you know? You get the bucket? <laughs> lay the middle first. Here, you lay down. Here, you go down. Help me, help me, help me. So, here's a quick update of everything. I got mine all glued up onto the piece of wood. This is just sitting here drying at this point. Ongo had a smarter idea. He traced it out first. That way he can just glue it on and lay it right on with no issues. Cut his in half. Yeah, he did cut his in half. Just because for some reason it wasn't going in. Yeah, so it'll go in like that. You cut some little holes right here for these screws. So when you like lift it up, you can just like take them out. You know what's cool though? So, when you're looking at it from like right here, you can't even see those holes. I know. You have to like actually get in there. But it looks good, dude. It's yeah. all sanded. Alright guys, I think mine is dried enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in the car. Did it fit good or what? Huh? Did it fit good? No. Okay. I'm just making sure everything sits right here. Dude, that looks good. Damn. There it is. Damn. Oh, dude, that looks sick. <laughs> that looks good, dude. Holy dude, that fuck. looks good. It's so much better, too, because uh, the only thing these cars come with is like that cardboard piece right here. It's like right here. For the wheel weld? Yeah, and then uh, just that carpet. So it's like I can't really put stuff on either side or it's like falling off. This is what like a stock one looks like. So Diego hasn't done his yet, but this is what his looks like. See, so it's like just a piece of cardboard that goes on top of this, and then the rest is carpet. So it's not really designed well, but I think. And then these are hella ugly too, bro. Yeah. I saw saying that that'd be cool when you guys do that. So we're gonna get some tires on? on the wheels oh, for, for the, the for the Meisters? Or not yet. I'm probably gonna get some tires mounted onto my uh, Meisters pretty soon. So if you guys have any recommendations on what wheel I should run, I'm probably gonna go a 285, 30 by 18. 18. I just don't know what wheel to go yet. Tire. What tire, my bad, yeah. Tronco. Sorry, sorry. So it looks, get the sub first. You're gonna have to use your homemade one. Ah, oh, dude, it's all stuck on here. There it is, guys. It's a little bit dark, but it's in. God damn, that looks so good, dude. I'm gonna see proud of this. Yeah. It's a little rough around the edges, but it's all good. So this is a sock carpet that comes with the car. But you just trace this out. Um, it's not an exact fit once you trace it out. We did have to trim a little bit, but it went right in. I wanna see if my sub's still. Dude, oh, that shit's gonna come out good. Is this the first? The first one, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a little big, no? Cause you know Mikey, STI? Yeah. He painted his headliner. So that's like something we want to do later on. Dude. But it's real. that stuff. Painted the whole thing black? Yeah, like the whole... 
headliner up top. Yeah, so that's something that we're actually planning to do in the future. We definitely want to paint this out black because it looks so sick. I don't like this like tan color. Ongo ran into a little issue with his, but he's getting it all fixed. I think this one should be dry now. So me and Diego are going to put it in. Is that it? Yeah. There it is. Diego's taking off. Thanks for coming, fam. Sam, Appreciate I'll see you it. next couple days. Mm -mm, like two weeks. See you in two weeks. show the next video. Second piece going in. Ooh. Oh, that looks so good. I think this will make it look a little better. Plug in. Oh, that looks good, dude. Look at that. Yo guys, let us know what you guys think about this. There's nesters. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about these trunk setups. I think they came out pretty good in my opinion. Anyone wondering how much this project costed us, it was $65 a piece. Which to be honest, for a quick change up of your trunk, it's actually not that bad. So remember guys, we still do have to spray down these panels here. So it's gonna be Kind of like this black right here on that so it's gonna look really good if you guys enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up or if it was helpful in any way just give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button we will catch you guys tomorrow